I'm able to come out onto these mere pesets and it's the perfect setting for, for davening to Hashem. I love remote. It's gorgeous. Everywhere you walk, there's like another view, like something breathtaking. I go on our porch and I look outside and it's just inspiring. It's stunning here. There's Kever Shmuel Hanavi right there and this whole valley. I'm really sad to leave here. I don't, I don't want to leave this behind. I live in the city, so this was very new to me. I like, have bars in my window at home, so this was, this was pretty cool, you know, waking up to the nature and the calm and the quiet and just being able to go outside and kind of soak it all in. And once you're able to connect to that part of you where you're thinking and you're understanding yourself and you're, you're making an effort to hear yourself for once as opposed to drown yourself out, you, you get to see the beauty and you get to actually realize that like, this is what Judaism is. This is, this is Torah, this is Hashem like, talking to you. It's got such an amazing environment. You never feel like you're not wanted or, or like you're being judged. Everyone's just so welcoming and friendly and loving about it. It's just, it's so nice here. It's home. It's home away from home. I would definitely recommend Tomer Devora. I think it's different than, than a lot of other seminaries that I know of. Because it's just, it's, it focuses very much on the individual and like how you want to be. It doesn't try to make everyone into the same mold or the same thing. Everyone gets to be who they want to be. There's always someone there for you and they always want to make sure that you're happy with what you're doing and um, that any issues you feel you have are dealt with, there's always someone to speak to. The staff at Tomer Devora has had a huge impact on my year. I've gained mentors and and teachers and rabbeim that hopefully I'll have for the rest of my life. I've become a more thinking person, a more self-aware person. I've gained so many sensitivities that I never ever thought that I would have before. My growth has been everything I anticipated and nothing I anticipated. It was, I, I came in thinking that I had a certain priorities and I, and I walked out gaining so much more and I'm, I've never felt so secure in my Yiddishkeit and yet I haven't even been from for so many years. I found that it's easy to grow here because of the atmosphere, all the teachers, Rakazot, the rabbis are all dedicated and they're just ready to give. They have a way of talking to you that's in a completely non-judgmental, accepting way that you're kind of not embarrassed of anything you have to say. So you could say even the strangest things and they're like, yeah, for sure. And you're like, okay, great. Coming from a non-religious background, you have so many questions and doubts or anything of that sort. And it's great to be in an environment where they're open to these kinds of things. Coming here, it really helped me develop my sense of respect for others and differences. Even though I come from a different background, I realize that every single person has their about everything that they need to work on, their challenges. This place is home. And for any girl in the world that thinks that she can't go to seminary, I can tell you that I relate to you. And I can tell you that I felt exactly the same way. They're just so welcoming. And, and the second we got here, they said, you are now our family and we're going to take care of you. You come out knowing that this is it. Yiddishkeit is what you need to do in life. It's, you come out knowing that it's right, that everything's right, and you come up with a passion and a love for what you do. I chose Toma Devora actually for a very different reason than other people. I looked at my friends who came here and my friends and how they came out and that's exactly how I want it to be. I saw that the staff comes in and they really help you with your growth and you come out with a better understanding about how Torah is and how to incorporate it into your life. In high school we just learned it, it was like another subject that we're learning and here we're coming here like this is what we're learning and it, the reason we're learning it is for our lives. Rabbi Fix's favorite thing to say is that Judaism is not a hobby, that we have to take what we've learned here and make it real. The style of teaching here is very open-minded. We have a diverse range of classes. I look forward to coming to class every day. Each teacher brings in their own special way of making it interesting. Rabbi Fix, sometimes he's so serious in what he says, but he'll just like throw in a joke that'll make you laugh and it'll make the whole situation so much lighter and more fun. Mrs. Bishisha, she just she says it in such a blunt, beautiful way. Mrs. Lichman, she brings in her own personal story. So you're not just learning to heal him, you're learning 
each individual story and you can see how you can connect it to your own life. The first day, I came out of Chumash class crying and I was like, I can't do this. And then, you know, by now it's like, I'm where everybody else is and, and, I, and I worked hard. And if that meant like asking a teacher to work with me on the side or asking a friend, hi, can we be Rashi tonight? Like that was so there for me because I, because you want it and because the school wants to help you grow. My family, we are Moroccan. And one thing I really looked forward to in Torment Devora was the Sephardic track. It's amazing. We learned to cook amazing food. We learned everything that we need to be able to build a Sephardic house and the halakhot that we need. And we noticed that some halakhot we learned before um, weren't like the ones we we're supposed to keep. I always grew up in Ashkenaz school and like I always learned their halakhot and it was really hard for me because I always, I wasn't supposed to learn and not supposed to listen to them. but. But now that I could actually like learn it and get excited and ask questions about it, because I was never able to do that. Torah for sure has become much more exciting for me and less routine. Here I gained values, like how to think from the Torah perspective. I've really grown a lot this year. I came in almost a completely different person than I am now. Everything that I didn't understand before, I got now and now I feel like I took I took what I always knew and I made it my own. You come to love Israel so much, traveling the land, spending Shabbos in various places throughout Israel, going on Tulim with Sam. You see so much of the land, so much of the culture and how diverse it is and different to what we used to and you really fall in love with it. Everyone looks forward to the TLM. Everyone just bonds. You speak to girls that you're not necessarily in classes with and you have so much fun and you learn things about other people. Like, I didn't know she was a good runner. I didn't know like she's such a good team player or things like that. And it's really positive. Everywhere you go in Israel, there's sights. There's something beautiful to see. I think my favorite thing would be mostly everyone is Jewish and you always see people that you feel connected to. Life in Remote is great. There's a Makola down the street. There's a mall a few blocks away. It's, it's a nice place. If you like nature and you want to be one with nature, you just go outside and you could take a walk, you could go running and really experience real beauty in Israel. Awesome place. Everyone's so accepting here. We're all from like different kind of backgrounds, different homes, different schools. Everyone comes together and we are all here for like the same goal. We learned a lot about why I'm from, why I'm religious, and I kind of like recommitted myself. The reason I chose Tomri Boro is because of the dynamic. All the different girls that come in here, from Beis Yaakov, from public school, every single time. And I wanted to be in an environment where everyone could be a family, even with the differences. And it was such a plus that there's a gym, a floor right below me. So every single morning and I feel energized to start my day. And it's, it's a great comfort to know that if I want to work out on my own, I can just come here. The dorm life is nice. It's good. Everyone gets along really well. No one's confined to their own little space. You get to move around and be with everyone else. I'm used to taking care of myself and relying on myself a lot. But coming here and having people who care so much about me, who, who spend so much energy and time wanting to get to know me and, and wanting to help me through things, I was really able to open myself up to accepting help. They go the extra mile, no matter what it is, no matter what you say to their bay, no matter what you say to teachers, if they know that you need it and it's good for you, they'll do it. They definitely put that confidence in you that you're knowing that you're going out to the world, like believing and knowing that what you're doing is right. It's not just like you have to do this because it's the law and the halachot and everything. Like they make you like believe in yourself that what you're doing is correct and that's the best feeling in the world that you can get. I think girls that are Sephardi that truly, truly want to like connect to their roots and connect to their heritage should consider Tomer Devor. They give it all to you. They give you all the halacha, they give you all the hashkafa, but yet at the end of the day, it is what you make of it. They give you the tools in your old toolbox and then it's up to you like how you use those tools in your life. Tomer Devora has definitely delivered more than I could have ever expected. It's not just a school, it's your home for a year. I definitely recommend coming here to anyone who wants to.